Hello, Reconnecters. I'm Wendy Mitchell. I'm a journalist and festival consultant. Usually I'm on stage with the teams at Connext while they pitch. So Flanders Image asked me to pick out a few highlights from this brilliant Reconnects platform. Good job on the pitches, everybody. They're looking good. I'm back with episode two. Today, I thought I would pop in to the new house, Neue House, Chocolate Factory, and I know some of you Reconnect super users might be lucky enough to get a few free chocs like me. Um, don't eat them all at once. I'm saying that from personal experience. So I thought I'd pick some sweet projects today to tie in with my chocolate theme. And I should say I'm forcing the theme a little bit because even though some of these films might have some sweetness in them, there are definitely some darkness too and some shades of gray. So the first project to mention is Close. Very special. This is the new feature film, now shooting from girl director Lucas Daunt. Remember being at Connects uh, quite a few years ago uh, in that auditorium when they showed us that one clip from Girl and it took everybody's breath away. Well, I got a similar punch to the heart watching Lucas's pitch and these new clips from Close. I honestly was about to start crying, just the scene with the boy and his doctor. Uh, so Close is about a fragile friendship between two 13-year-old boys. They've found some really fantastic young actors to play the leads. And Lucas is working with a lot of the same team as he did on Girl and the Match Factory handles sales. Good luck finishing the film, Lucas. Another project that has a kind of sweetness, I think, is Kind Hearts. This is a documentary about first love. It's in post now. And one thing I like, we, we sometimes talk about Generation Z as if they're like a different species to us grownups. Um, and this is a kind of film that puts us right in the room with them. It's a very intimate look at the ups and downs of first love. Another film in post is Round Trip, directed by Dorothy Vandenberg. This is a road movie comedy. It's got such heart. Um, it's about a female truck driver who meets a refugee. Um, there's such warmth we can see already in just these short clips. Um, it's the kind of post-pandemic film I think audiences will go crazy for. You have to check out the actor Wilkett Bungaye. His smile really lights up the screen so much. I was also really charmed by the two ladies, Flo and Kato, who pitched Roomies. This is a series made by two real life friends. They used to be roommates themselves. And the pitch, you can just see their personality. They use a, a fork as a pointer, which I thought was, you know, a new, a first. Uh, you can see the chemistry between them as writer directors. They're really young and cool. And sounds like it's a long overdue project. This is the first Belgian series to have lesbian protagonists, about time. They call it a coming out of age series, which I love as a new genre. And it starts shooting any day now. One final project to mention this week that has a little bit of sweetness is Peter Monsert's film La Canoe. This is a drama about an unlikely bond between a grieving middle-aged man and a homeless teenager. I think it's a kind, another kind of film that's gonna restore our faith in humanity. Jan de Klerk produces and it's in post now. So enjoy the chocolate. See you in the next episode.